Come in. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Fine. You know, your whole family is downstairs, Mindy. I guess that's, uh... I guess that's good. I guess it's nice that they come together for you, give you some support. That's just the way the Lewises are. Mm -hmm. We all pull together when one of us has a problem. That's great. Your, uh, your granddad said something to me that I, I, I didn't really understand. Granddaddy's here? Yeah, he's, he's down there with the rest of you folks. Hmm, you must know. He's, uh, he's acting a little strange, Mindy. Oh, how? Well, he... <laughs> when I came, uh, when I came in the door, he, he, he patted me on the back and he said, Son, you have my blessing. <laughs> well... <laughs> you know, you, do, do you know what that's all about? Yeah, uh... You do? Well, Granddaddy must think you want to ask me to marry you. <laughs> well, I guess somebody better clue him in, huh? <laughs> To what? Well, that, that... We can't do that. I mean, that would be all wrong, right? All wrong? Yeah. You know that. Well, when I talked to you on the phone, you said that you had something to ask me. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I, um... Uh... Well, Beth and I had a long talk last night, and uh, we were trying to you know, figure out some way out of this mess. And I think we've come up with a pretty good plan, Mindy. Which is? Well, we've decided that we would like to raise the baby. You and Beth? Yeah. We'd, um, if it's all right with you, if you would agree, we'd, we'd like to take the baby after it's born and, and raise it. I can't believe it. Mindy. Never. You... Mindy. Never! You heard me! Never! Mindy, come on! Never! Hey, whoa! Hey, what's the matter? Hey, come on! Nobody makes pasta like... How dare you! How dare you whoa. come in here and tell whoa. me something like that? Whoa, now, come on, now, take it easy. I just want to give the baby a home, Mindy. A home? And you don't think I could give this child a home? No, You think I'd abandon it, throw it out in the snow? I didn't say that, Mindy. I didn't say that you would do that. I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm some I'm, kind of brood mare. Is I, that what you're saying? No, I didn't oh, say I'm that, Mindy, and I'm not... Mother of the family for you and your precious little Beth. Mindy, Is I didn't it? say that. Now stop it. I'm just trying to well, establish you, what's you best. You used me once, Philip Spalding, and you're never. You are never going to use me Mindy? again. Do you understand me? Beth is never going to get her hands on my baby. No, wh wait a never. minute. It's my baby too, Mindy. It's mine. What, what's the matter with you? You don't want the baby. Who said that? You said you didn't want the baby the other day in the church. I changed my mind. You. Come on, Mindy. You don't just change no, you your mind come about. On. Listen, I've given this a lot of thought. And I realized that, uh, that I want this baby oh. more than anything. And I'm sorry if that upsets your plans, but you just cannot have this baby, and that is final. This is Rick, isn't it? Rick, no. Rick, Rick, no, don't tell me. Rick no, talked Rick you into this, didn't he? had absolutely nothing to do with this. Uh, no, this is wait. all on my own. I can make my own decisions, no matter what you think. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Rick told me yesterday that you and he had planned to get married and raise this baby as though it were his. He told me that. We talked about yeah, it. Yeah, I know he talked about it. And he wasn't real crazy about my idea about taking the baby either, Mindy. He said he was going to make Listen, sure... this was my own decision. I haven't spoken to him since you did. At least Rick cares about me, though, and at least he shows me some respect. Oh, come on. Is this, some is, people. Is that what this is about, Mindy? Is it just because you want to marry Rick? Is that it? I'm not sure. All I know is that I'm going to have this baby, and I'm going to keep it. Would you just be reasonable, Mindy? Come on, now you, you know you are not ready to be a mother. But you think Beth is? I didn't say that. I did not say that. Not by herself, no. But I think the two of us oh, together would have a chance. Oh, you listen to me, Buster. I, I'm going to prove to you that Would I you? am just as mature and responsible as your goody two two shoes, Beth Rain. Wait a minute, just I shut up, Mindy. You're not being the, fair. The best mother ever, you'll see. You're not going to use this baby as some kind of way to prove yourself, oh, Mindy. You're not going to do it. Talk about fair. Yeah, go ahead and insult me, do whatever you want. But you're not going to have this baby, and and I'm going to have. You can't tell me what to do. Oh. oh. All right, all right, all right. I'm sorry. I am, I'm sorry. Get away from me. Mindy, come on. I am sorry. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. I... I didn't think that you wanted the baby, Mindy. I really didn't. 
I know that you're confused. So am I. Let's just stay calm and try to figure out what is the best thing to do here, okay? What we want is not the important thing. We've got to do what's best for the baby, Mindy. And then maybe we can decide... I want my daddy. Mindy, come on. We've got to talk about... You it. hear me? Go get my daddy. I said go get my daddy. Not exactly uh, the way I expected, to tell you the truth. When is the wedding? Oh. Mr. Lewis, uh, Mindy and I aren't going to be getting married. Well, what the hell are you going to do then? Well, I'm, I don't know exactly right now. You don't know? Well, what in blazes so hard to figure out? Well, it's a little bit complicated, sir. There it's... is nothing complicated about it. It's as plain as a nose on your face. Daddy, please let Philip finish. Well, all right, boy. If you didn't come here to do the right thing by my granddaughter, what are you up to? Well, I asked Mindy if it would be all right if Beth and I would raise the baby. You what? No, no, Please. Spalding is going to take my great-grandbaby from the bosom of the Daddy. Lewis family. Daddy. I will take out my shotgun Daddy. to stop Daddy. that from I happening. I want you to calm down. I want you to calm down. This is not going to help anything. All right, uh, Philip, what did, what did Mindy say when you asked her that? She didn't say anything. She just started screaming. Well, it. boy, you can't hardly blame her, can you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen to me, please. I, I, I didn't come here to cause trouble. Now, I talked to Mindy the other day in the church, and she didn't seem to want to have anything to do with this baby, Mr. Lewis, so I thought that she would want me to take it. Well, of course she wants it. H.B., Mindy doesn't know what she wants right now. I agree, Vanessa. See, I, I, I'm willing to take full responsibility for this child. I, I am, Mr. Lewis, and I, I just want to do what is the best thing for the baby. But to do that, I, I've got to be able to talk to her, and she doesn't want to talk to me. Well, I'm glad to see she finally had sense enough to see through all of your malarkey. Daddy, stop. Is there anybody that she does want to talk to right now? She wants to talk to you, sir. Well, why didn't she say that in the first place? I'll take care of this right now. Wait up, Billy. Daddy. I'm coming along. Melinda Sue needs the advice of her granddaddy, too. And boy, I just don't think of leaving here until we get this whole thing settled. There's one thing you can do with nerve of Philip Spaulding prancing in here trying to claim our baby. Don't worry, darling. Nothing is going to happen unless you want it to, I promise. That boy ought to be taught a lesson. It's all going to be up to you. Gabbering on about taking full responsibility. Hell, he don't even know the meaning of the word. You know, I hate Philip. Here I am mothering to this child and, and he treats me like dirt. Not while I'm still around. All he thinks about is himself. Oh, and Beth, Beth, Beth. Oh, shh, darling, look. Now, all you got to do is just say the word, and I'll make sure that boy don't <laughs> never come around here. No. Don't do that. Well, you sure, Mindy? Yeah. I mean, well, Philip can't act like this and just be allowed to walk away from it, can he? Well, well what did you have in mind? Well... We have to make him see that he never forgets what he's done to me. Not ever. Hmm. Sounds to me like you come to a decision on your own, Mindy girl. You know, <laughs> I have, Granddaddy. I know exactly what I want now. Hmm. And I'm not going to settle for anything else. Come on, Doc. How's Mindy? She much better. What did she say? She told us. Exactly what she wants. And considering the circumstances, this is something she is entitled to. Well, uh, well what is it? Doc, I want you to marry me. These instruments have been boiled. Or... This has been Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest, and Barney. Furs by the Christie Brothers. Composed of